Welcome to Full Time Devils. I'm Adam McCall. I'm here with Stephen Allison. We're outside Old Trafford where United have beaten Reading 4 0 in the FA Cup to go through to the fourth round. Firstly, about the game, what did you make of that today? Um, I was really impressed with United. Uh, I thought with the rotated side that we had and the fact that, you know, Reading are a championship team, they're used to scrapping. This is a Reading team, actually, that's scrapping even though they're doing all right in there. They're in the third place in the championship, but they're a scrappy team. They're a well-organized grafting team that they work hard. They're quite direct with it. They, um, they're a team that I expected to really collapse the defense into midfield and, and just to sit and make it difficult for us to get in behind. But we saw from the first couple of minutes that we was able to get in behind. Marshall and Rashford both opening up in the channels, making space down the middle. And then with Wayne Rooney scoring an early goal, it was party time then because then they had to sort of try and be a bit more adventurous because we, we've seen a, a dozen teams come here, haven't we, and just sit back and just go deal with that, basically. And we do struggle. And I did think we'd struggle getting a goal in before half time, but the early goal, I said it opened it up. And then I think even at 4 0, doesn't really fully reflect the game that we saw because if Rashford had walked away with two hat tricks a day, I don't think anyone would have said it was undeserved. He had so many opportunities. In that second half, I remember thinking, I was saying to Dean that. This should be more than 2-0. And if they score, it could be a bit worrying. And then we get the two goals. It's 4-0. It's comfortable. But it could have been 8-9-10 today. Do you remember the Roma game when it was 7-1? And because of the circumstances surrounding it, like even at like 3-1, you're like, oh, we're not out of the woods yet. 4-1, you're like, they could still come back into this. And then you know, it ends up 7-1. You're like, yeah, I'll probably be all right now. I'll be all right. <laughs> and it, yeah, there was that sort of feel to it. And sometimes you get that, don't you, in the match when it's like, actually, and it's a cliche, and it? People say, oh, 2-0 is the most dangerous result. Well, it's not, is it? Losing like 5-0 is probably a bit more dangerous than, <laughs> than being 2-0 up. But, uh, you know, some one of them daft cliches, isn't it? I thought we, we looked very strong. There was a couple of times that they threatened us, but the Championship's an underrated division. It's a hard division to get out of, and I think Reading are probably going to have a very good chance of getting out of that this year. Um, Performance-wise, for United, I thought Wayne Rooney had a good game. I don't think it was amazing. I think he'll, uh, he'll be very happy with his goal, and congratulations to Wayne Rooney on getting that, because that is a phenomenal achievement. Whatever anybody thinks about whatever's gone on previously with him at the club, getting that record, it, well... Equaling that record, should we say, not getting a record, is a phenomenal achievement. That's a, that's a consistency shown over 20 years. legend, that. I'm not answering that question. <laughs> I think there's a... Uh, what I'll say is, there is a question mark over it, right? And I'm not saying whether that's right or wrong, but if we spoke to 100 guys out here, we would not get the same answer, would we? Would we? You know it and I know would it. We? I, I, don't, I don't think we would, but I think it depends on your definition, and I definitely think he is. Um, moving on from that, I'm going to say man of the match, Rashford, because I think he was man of the match. Do you agree? Um, and and about the football, because a lot of people when Jose came here, including myself, were worried, is the football going to be any good? We're seeing very good football here. We are seeing good football. And I think that's, uh, that is down to the manager. It's down to the personnel that we've got in the team. When you've got players like Martial that just wants to run at people, you've got Rashford who's an exciting footballer, you've got Matter who can put the ball anywhere he likes it, then you're going to have exciting teams. And you can say, oh, well, we didn't do that last, last year. Yeah, year the, this team today had none of our new signings in it. That was a... Last year team, that was the last year team, yeah. And but we was also up against Reading. We wasn't up against anybody. I mean, we we did well and we played good football in the bigger games last year under Lou Van Gaal, didn't we? So there was there was good signs under Lou Van Gaal and there was good things that he did. But overall, I think we made the right decision in appointing Jose Mourinho. I've been impressed with what he's done so far as manager. He's completely now got rid of that boring mentality that we had. That sort of it was a safe mentality, wasn't it? It was no one taking risks in the final third. How many times did we want someone to come on and commit a player? And today, actually, we saw that loads. We saw Rashford running at him. We saw Marshall running at him. We saw a surging run through the middle. Wayne Rooney was having a run at people. Mkhitaryan epitomises running at people. Even Paul Pogba has a run at people. So that's the difference I think Jose Mourinho has made. I think defensively, we look about the same. But I think going forward, that's the only difference. We... We still structure everything in the same way, except the final third, where the players are taking a little bit more risk. And I think that's the main difference. We're still not scoring as many goals. You look at the goal scored this season, it's not good enough. It's still hangovers and shades of last season in, in areas. But I do think this team's about to slap some. That's on. partly a result of the earlier results in the well, season, right? The results are the results. Mm. You know, all those nil-nils that we got. No, of course, but it has improved since it then. It has improved, but it's still not... Strong, is it? We're yeah. still scoring one or two goals. We're not scoring three, four, five, six goals. You know, we're not we're not absolutely hammering teams. But I do feel we are about to give someone a bit of a slap in. I would love it, Kevin Keegan. Just love it completely, Kevin Keegan. Love it over the top yeah. style. If we did it to Liverpool next week, because that ends. Will Rooney get the record against Liverpool? I would love it if he got the record against Liverpool. 
there's nothing better than singing you, you scouse bastard Look, nothing better than Wayne Rooney getting a record against Liverpool and then the entire Stretford end shouting you scouse bastard at him <laughs> The yes. irony, the irony of it, but yeah, that's how it's going to go down if he gets it, if he plays, because Mourinho's took him completely out of the first Is this his partner players. starting against championship sides at home in the cup? Is that his role in the team? Well, if you look what we've just done in this big run that we've had all these wins, who's been playing up front? It's been Lingard or Marshall, and it's been Matter or Mkhitaryan, and Zlatan is your first choice, so... Mourinho's managed to completely remove Rooney from the first 11 with the minimal of fuss. Obviously, it was an almighty fuss when he dropped in for the derby, but then since then... He's just sort of skated by without ever playing him and no one really kicking up a fuss. He's coming and he's done well today. But would you start him ahead of Mkhitaryan against Liverpool? No. Would you start him ahead of Zlatan? No. What about Rashford, Marshall or Lingard? N no. Not in, not in those wide positions, no. no. Through the middle, I would start him ahead of Lingard. If you play 4-2-3-1, I think there's a, there's a potential... He doesn't play in number 10 over matter. No, uh, but he might, he might start him there. Um, it'd be interesting to see how he does line up against Liverpool and honestly, but this Liverpool game for me is massive. We can do three things in that Liverpool game in one match. Win, lose or draw? Yes. <laughs> but we can also, we can put the, the loving winner media for, with Klopp to bed if we give them a proper good, good old-fashioned Fergie-style slapping, like three or four goals unanswered. That would be absolutely fantastic. We can also peg them back, which is obviously fantastic for our hunt of... Oh, the, the quadruple's still on. I'm joking. Am I? You, 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 you didn't really have to say that at the end, but you, I, I understand why you said it, because yeah, it's, it's, it's YouTube. It's, hang on. We spoke about Wes Morgan being England captain, and nobody who understands sarcasm got it. These people just like... Do you, you mean to say he's not English? <laughs> um, so we can peg Liverpool back, we can shut the media up about Klopp temporarily, because they all absolutely love him. Um, and we can also... What was the other thing that we could do? We can also potentially overtake Arsenal if they cock up as well. So then three things could happen with a good result for us next weekend. And that's going to do wonders for us going forward this season. I think we're being underrated by a lot of teams at the yeah, moment. We are starting to look ruthless. Let them sleep on us. So that's yeah, the best let them, thing. Right? Let them, let them, there's six teams that can win this league all at right, the moment. New. Before, before, before we go on, one word, man and match. You said Rashford already, right? I think Rashford did look the most dangerous. Right, I said one word, okay. Now what we're going to do is something new for you guys. A little bit of player rating. So, Romero, player rating out of 10. Um, don't remember him making a save. So six. Six, yeah, solid six. Solid six, we agreed on that one. Um, Centre-halves, uh, Smalling. Uh, Smalling was very good in the first half. Didn't see so much. He's at the other end of the pitch, second half. Uh, there was a bit of chaos towards the end, wasn't it? But we dealt with it, kept a clean sheet. Uh, seven. Smalling got seven out of 10. Um, then who played at Rojo? Uh, six. He was got sub, didn't he? Rojo came on. Jones came on. Had Jones a seven. Um, Damia. Uh, sorry, Blind. Uh, Blind looked quite poor first half. I'm going to give him uh, a five and a half. Ashley Young. Uh, did nothing with the ball whatsoever. And there's a couple of times. Find out. I'm going to give him a six. Carrick. Seven point five. Fellaini. Eight. Point three. Eight. Eight point three. Eight. Eight point three. Um, Matter. Seven and a half. Uh, inches. Rooney. Eight. Rashford. Eight and a half. Rashford gets ten. Marshall. Uh, seven and a half. Marshall gets twelve. Marshall would have been better if he'd have continued the second half the way he continued yeah. the first half. He was electric in the first half. Faded a little bit. I think we both agree, though, that Marcus Rashford was the man of the match. Guys, get oh, your... There's two more players that you've not mentioned. No, I said Carrick, Fellaini, Mata, yeah, yeah, yeah. Marshall, Rashford, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rooney... Who come on off the bench? Fosu, Mensah and Bastian Schweinsteiger. 11 and 12. Yeah, listen. Fosu, Bastian, I love you both. Guys, get your player ratings in below. Make sure you subscribe, like, share to full-time. Double check out all the rest of the fan cams plus my review. We're out of here.